Hello everybody, how are you? Miss all of you. Hope you are doing well at home and no more complaints of your mothers. Just be safe, stay at home, stay safe. Today we have an introduction for the subtraction topic. Yeah, today is an introduction for the subtraction topic. Let's start. Okay. In our previous session or in our previous lesson, we've learned the word addition. And we learned what does it mean the word addition. The word addition means is to put together, to join, to combine two groups in order to know how many in all. Okay? Okay. We said the first step, we have to count the first group. We have group of basketballs. Let's count how many basketballs are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six balls. Great. Over the second one. One, two, three. The next step is to put them together in one group. Okay. Look here. Which one is the greater group? The group of six balls is greater, it's greater than the three balls. So put six in your mind and three on your fingers and count the three more. After six, seven, eight and nine. Great! So six plus three equals nine. Perfect! Okay, I have a story, and my story, it may help you to understand the new topic for today. Do you want to listen to my story? My story is about four children. They were playing in the garden. Emma, Jason, Clark, and Leo. As I said before, they were playing together. Then, Mama came and said, Emma, Emma, come, lunch is ready. Emma said, Okay, Mama, I'm coming. Then Emma left. Leia wondered what happened. Where is Emma? Okay, Leia's asking, what happened in the garden? I don't understand. How come we were four and now we are three? Who can help me to understand what happened in the garden? Okay, Leo, I'll help you. But in order to help you, let's put what happened in the garden in a specific order. Do you remember the addition when we put everything in order? He said, yeah. So let's put for the subtraction as well. In order to understand what happened in the garden, let's see. We had Leo, Jason, Clark, and Emma. How many children are there? Four. So the first place is for the whole group. Then, Mama came and said, Emma, Emma, come, lunch is ready. After this, Emma left. She went. So, we have to cross Emma out. She's not there anymore. How many cross out sign here? Just only one. So, the second place is for how many cross sign are there? Then we have to count how many left without cross sign. How many left? One, two, three. Excellent, three. So the last place is for how many left without the cross sign. Let's take another example to understand more about subtraction. Let's count how many left. 
As we said before, the first place is for the whole group. We have group of three cars. Great! So how many cars are there? Three. Then we're gonna take away. Take away means to cross out. How many we crossed out? Two. Great! So the second place is for the cross sign. How many we crossed out? Two. Perfect! And after this, we have to count how many left, how many without cross sign. How many left? Just one. Perfect. So, after the two examples that we've taken, do you know what does it mean, subtraction? Subtraction means is to take away. When we take one number away from another, we are subtracting. Got it? Great! Okay, finally we reached the last stage in our lesson for today. It was about introduction to the topic subtraction. Thank you for listening and watching me today, waiting for your comments on your WhatsApp group. Just go for your book, open your textbook, look at the story and try to understand what does it mean subtraction and waiting for any comments. Thank you again and bye-bye.